YouTubers. Today I want to talk about the top five myths when it comes to learning bass guitar because there's a lot of people out there picking up the bass guitar for the first time, <clears throat> rock on, and your brains are being filled with garbage that isn't true. So that's what this video is all about. Let's get rid of that crap and focus on the stuff that is actually true. Okay, so myth number one. The bass is easier to learn than the guitar. Absolutely wrong. So check this out guys, yes. I would say that it's easier in the first few weeks to pick up the bass and get started, okay? The bass is so cool to get started on. One finger on this hand and you can, you know, you can do some damage with that. But after you've got that initial, okay, fretting the note and plucking a note, once you've got that out of the way, it's, you know, it's as hard as any instrument. As bass players, we've got to groove like hell and we've got to be able to outline the changes as they go by using notes from the chord. So for instance, a guitar player can hold down a chord. So let's say a C7. Yeah, great, right? But as bass players, we need to know where all of the notes are within that chord. It's not just about playing. You know, we need to know where the root note is. We need to know whether it's a major or a minor, so we can add the third. We need to know whether it, there's a natural five in there. We need to know whether there's a flat seven in there. We need to know all of that, and then we need to be able to know those notes, okay, the chord tones. And then we need to learn how to use those notes, use those chord tones within a groove. It's not just about sitting on a root note. There's so much more to bass playing, okay? So don't be fooled by that bass is easier to learn than guitar. That's absolute tosh. The bass is awesome. It's a fantastic instrument to learn, but at no point think to yourself that it's easier than the guitar. Myth number two. You can't play bass with a pick. Absolutely false. Can't play bass with a pick. Seriously, Bobby Vega, Carol Kay, Steve Swallow, Scott Tunis, Justin Chancellor, Anthony Jackson, Chris Squire, and Sir Paul McCartney. Seriously, guys, it's time to forget about this age old myth. You can play bass with a pick. One pick. You can absolutely play with a pick. Now, I would say that I do recommend when you're starting out on bass or wherever you are in your you know, bass life cycle, it's cool to be able to use both, you know, pick and fingers. And there's plenty of players that do that. But some tones that certain bass players get, you're not gonna get it with your fingers. So if you wanna get that, have that tone in your arsenal, okay, in your bag of bass tricks, then you need to be able to learn to play with a pick as well. Simple as that. Myth number three. You have to start out on a cheap bass. Completely wrong. There's a huge misconception that when you're starting out on any instrument, that you have to get a cheap instrument to start out with, okay? That is completely wrong, okay? Here's what the deal is. No matter what instrument it is, it's not gonna make you play any better or worse as long as the setup on it is okay. So if you buy a bass for $200 or a bass for $2,000, 
your plane is not going to be affected by that base in one little bit. It's but as long as the setup's okay on it, which I really do recommend if you've got a cheaper base, so like 200 300 dollars or something like that, just take it and get it set up by a luthier or a guitar tech in a shop because it will play like a two thousand dollar instrument. It is what it is. What I would say is if you are in doubt of whether it's you know you just want to stick your toe in the water and have a little you know a little dip in there and see if the uh, if the bass is for you you know feel free to get a cheap bass but if you're rolling in dosh get yourself an expensive bass and if it's not for you you can always sell it later and because it's a higher end instrument it will retain its value better so don't beat yourself up if you're looking at fancy ass basses and you want one and you can afford one well you know, if you're just starting out, well, just go for it. Who cares? Myth number four. You have to read music. Again. Completely wrong. There are some amazing musicians out there that can't read a note of music, okay? It really depends on what your goals are as a musician, right? So if you want to work in a theatre pit or you want to be a session musician um, or a studio musician and work in that environment, then reading is going to be really helpful and you should absolutely put it on your list of things to nail okay your list of stuff to do but if you just want to go around your friend's house and jam out and rock out and have fun then you know there's probably other things that you can prioritize over reading music right what i would say is that a good knowledge of theory in terms of diatonic harmony is really useful, like the Nashville number system. Understanding that a major scale contains seven chords and their relationship with each other, okay? That stuff is dynamite, okay? But that stuff isn't to do with reading music. Reading music is like a separate thing. Again, I don't want to dissuade you from reading music. I just want to say it depends what your own personal goals are. And if you like learning stuff like that, then absolutely go ahead and read music. I read music, okay? I read music and I've got a ton of gigs be because of it. But I just don't want you to be sitting at home thinking, I really don't want to read music. I just want to jam out with my friends in their garage. Okay, it's okay not to read music. Don't worry about it. And finally, myth number five. The bass is not as expressive as other melody instruments. Absolutely and wholeheartedly false. The bass is a super expressive instrument you can get so many different tones out of it it's not just about plodding away in the background playing root notes right we have got everything we've got groove we've got rhythm we've got harmony you know we're actually we're pretty much like kids in a sweet shop right because we've got everything so we can be holding a groove down the bottom end super tight groove down but you know we've got all this ah, just let me put this on solo range as well and then everything in between the nuance of the way that you play the notes it's not just it's the dynamics that we can use, the rhythms that we can use. As I said, we are kids in a candy store. We re we've got it all as bass players and we it's such an expressive instrument. Don't go into this thinking that you're just going to be going because you're not. So that's 
that's it guys, that's my top five myths when it comes to learning bass. If you have enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel because I do videos like this all the time. And then if you subscribe to the channel and you dig the videos, go over to scottsbasslessons.com. That's kind of the sort of like the, the foundation of everything I do. And that's where we run a membership that is the largest and most popular online bass school in the world. And I'd love you to become a student. Other than that guys, take it easy. As always, I'll see you in the shed. Two thousand and fifteen Kickstarter challenge. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hello, all. Hello.